with five months to go before the presidential election, a new national poll shows President Donald Trump trailing Democratic challenger Joe Biden. According to a CNN survey, 55 percent of those responding said if the election were being held today, they would be more likely to vote for Biden. 41 percent, they would be more likely to vote for President Trump. Joining me now on Skype with his analysis is Dr. Michael Cohen, CEO of the Cohen Research Group, a political research and technology firm. Michael, welcome to the show. Good to see you. So what do you make of these results? Well, thanks for having me on. Um, the results, I would characterize them as an outlier. Uh, there, uh, you're looking at a 14-point lead. Uh, there's no way in the world that's going to happen in November. Uh, critics of the poll point to bias against the president uh, by some in the mainstream media. What are your thoughts on that, Michael? Well, I looked at the poll, and what they're doing is they're looking at registered voters. They're not even looking at likely voters. And on top of that, we really have no sense of how they sampled the, those voters. The best way to do it is to look at the voter file, check who voted last time and maybe even the last four elections, and then take a sample of people to go ahead and interview them from here. They likely didn't do that. And in fact, that is really the state of the art on how we do polling today. What about the uh, internal polling by the White House? What is that showing? I'm sure the internal White House polling is showing that Trump is down, but I would imagine it's much closer. And in fact, what they're looking at is not even national polling at this point, because professional pollsters and the White House team, and I know a few people on that team, they're very, very good. And what it comes down to is this, they're, they're looking at it state by state. And so all of the states that were very close last time, those are the ones that they're focused on. Uh, as you know, the nation has been in the midst of a pandemic that's caused not just a health crisis, but also an economic one as well. And now there is unrest in the wake of the death of George Floyd. How much of an impact do you think this is going to have on voters? Well, it's had a significant impact so far. So if you look at the real clear politics um, aggregate polling for the past few months, uh, on May 18th, Biden was up about 5%. He's now up about 8%. So there is some kind of movement, but it's not exactly really significant. So you're looking at these things, they're, they're crises, they're points in time. I would imagine that the protests will eventually dissipate um, with congressional action and hopefully president will sign it. And beyond that, we'll probably be on to three, four or five other things by the time we get to November. Yeah, Michael, before we let you go, what else do you think we need to look for uh, in the upcoming election? What you need to be looking for is when these two candidates actually debate. That's really when can, um, voters start looking at the election more seriously. The conventions will be a little bit less important this time around because they're not going to be in person or maybe even the Democrats won't have theirs in person, but maybe the Republicans will. So there's not going to be much of a bump coming out of that. When they go head to head, that's when this thing will get ready to go. Well, Michael, thank you so much for your time. Dr. Michael Cohen, CEO of the Cohen Research Group. Thanks for coming on the show. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.